Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How are you guys all doing? I'm at my second mining location today. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just super happy to be here, guys. I haven't been here for like two weeks. And I have a few things to work on today, but the main thing I want to work on today is this server power supply that I received from Nefarious Fool. You guys may have, may have seen the unboxing that I did about two weeks ago. He sent me two of them and I haven't installed them yet. Now I haven't played around with server power supplies before and I've, I've never, yeah, I, 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 wanna, I wanna install this today and see how it works. So basically I'll showcase to you guys how to install it and I don't know if I'm gonna install it the right way or not but let me know down in the comments. So here we go. Uh, I'm gonna be basically plugging this into 240 volt so with this power supply, it's a, it's a switchable, switching power supply. I, you know what, I really think this is an HP power supply because I've seen these on Amazon and like these just plug into like servers, like into a slot on a server. But we're just going to use it for mining. So we have to use this breakout board and it plugs in like so. So let's plug it in here. Uh, like that, no, it plugs in like this. I had to make sure before I, uh, yeah, it plugs in like this. It's actually really hard. Uh, there we go. Okay. So plugs in, make sure you make sure it's in all the way. It plugs in like so, guys. ASIC power board version 1.3. So this is not for ASIC, but I mean, I mean, sorry. Yeah, this is actually, you can use this for like an ASIC miner, like Bitmain and in a silicon or whatnot, but we're gonna use it on a GTX 1070. So you can see here, I got a GTX a Zotac 1070. We're just gonna test it on this. It has two, two PCIe uh, eight pin power plugs that we'll use. And then uh, we're gonna install all this into that VETA frame that you guys can see with the fans on. <laughs> it only has the fans and ATX power supply right now. And then I'm going to install this Gigabyte H110 D3A motherboard that I had laying around uh, spare in a box. So we're going to use that on this frame. And then guys, I have a riser right here. This will be used for that, for that video card. And again, I'll use one of the PCIe pins for, from the server power supply here. So actually, let's just plug in, let's just plug in these cables right now. One will go here. I guess it doesn't really matter where they go. And another one will plug into here. It, I'm going to assume it doesn't really matter where you plug the uh, PCIe cables because there's only, there's only PCIe cables on this breakout board. So that's another thing to note guys. If you are, are going to use server power supplies you need to have a ATX power supply or a, a Pico power supply, which I can show you here on the screen. It's basically this little Pico thing is just a little tiny power adapter supply that plugs into the server power supply. But I heard they are not that reliable and they're not as reliable as just using like a regular power supply, like a, like a 450 watt or 500 watt. I mean, that's all you need. But in my case, I already have like an 850 watt here. I'm just gonna use, I don't know if temporarily or I'm just gonna keep it there for now because I don't have any smaller power, power supplies to plug in. So the reason why you need that, this plus your server power supply is because you have the 24 pin and the eight pin uh, port for the motherboard as well as SATA and whatnot for your hard drive and Molex for your fans and whatever else, riser, if you choose to use Molex for your riser. Okay guys, so yeah, let's plug this all into the board. I'll show you how it works. Alright guys, so first I'm going to turn this off. <laughs> I want to plug in the motherboard. Alright, there we go. Motherboard while the power supply is on. You can tell, you can see here I have a, a paper, clipped, paper clip into the 24 pin here just to have the power on. I just wanted to have the fans on because it looked cool. Okay, so first guys, I'm just going to plug in the motherboard. Let's put in the motherboard into the frame first. I don't know if I'm going to be using this motherboard because it only I can only do about 6 or 7 if I do an M.2. 
So uh, it's just temporary for now. I just want to showcase the uh, power supply. Okay, so motherboard's in. Got a couple screws there. Let's put in now the power cables from the ATX power supply into the motherboard. Okay, 24, the 24 pin is in. Now we're going to do the 8 pin CPU into the motherboard. And plug in the SATA cable for the SSD. Can't forget that one. Okay, and that's it. SSD has power. Okay, next up we're gonna do the power supply, HP server power supply. Here it is, guys. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to put it up like this because this breakout board is a little bit higher than this way, so this will have to be the bottom. Okay, like so. Uh, I'll screw it in later, so I'll just have it like that for now. And now let's put in the graphic card. Gotta plug in the riser to the graphic card, like so. Give it a nice little lock. There's a locking knob right there for the riser for the video card. Yeah, this is a nice card, eh? GTX 1070. Let's just hope I don't blow it up. If I blow it up, I'm gonna blame I'm gonna blame everyone but myself. Okay, guys. Everyone who subscribed to me, it's it'll be their fault if it, if this blows up. Just kidding. It's, nefar it's Nefarious's fault. One little screw here for the graphic card. And... Okay. Alright, so now... You guys can see I have basically most of it all plugged in now. Uh, okay, last part we're going to do the... The PCIe cables. Oh! I forgot to put in the riser into the PCIe 1 on the motherboard, so let's do that. And we're going to plug in the, the PCIe cables here. First one's in. You guys can probably hear that fan. That's the Radeon 7 at 100% fan speed right now. Really loud. Okay, guys, and then the last one is going to go into the riser at the bottom here. Okay. All right, so it's in. Looks like everything's all plugged in. You guys can see video card, cables from the server power supply into the breakout board, into the riser and video card. And then I got the ATX power, 24 pin, eight pin CPU into the motherboard and then the SATA power for the SSD and SATA cable into the motherboard. So let's turn this on. Okay guys, so I forgot to mention that the breakout board, the server power supply does have a little switch. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a little switch right here. It is off right now. Let's see if I can go closer up here. Uh, I, don't know if, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there is there is a power switch right here on the breakout board. So when I plug this in, this is a 240 plug uh, plugged into my triplet PDU that's 240 volt right now. So let's plug in the power supply first. And we're gonna turn on this first. So, so we got some fan, we got some fan going already, but I haven't turned it on. So let's go ahead and turn it on now. I hope it doesn't go on fire. Okay, it's on, video card's on, power supply's on, and now we have to turn on the uh, ATX power supply. Okay, and does anything show up on the mother, oh, I forgot to plug, up, plug in the VGA. Uh, let's do that. Okay, yes, yes, we got we got video out. Okay, nothing blew up guys. Oh, thank God. I bet some of you guys were hoping that I would blow up something or break something and that's what I did on the last board that I had on this frame. I think something shorted so hard on that uh, MSI motherboard. 
Okay, so that's it guys. That's, that's basically how you plug in the uh, server power supply. It has a switch on there. So yeah, first, first thing you have to do is turn on the server power supply before you turn on your ATX uh, power supply. That's it guys, that's all I wanted to show you in today's video, I don't know. There was a comment in a video that someone asked how to plug in a server power supply, so this video was for you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comments uh, if I did anything wrong, I probably did. I'll see you guys in the next video, I appreciate all you guys so much. Smash that like button of course, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.